Welcome back to The Ref Show. Now, nobody's going to say it if we don't. Happy birthday to us. Yeah, that's right. You, didn't, you guys didn't know it was a birthday, did yeah. you? Three, did you? Three, three years old. Today. Can't believe it's lasted that long, can you? No, no. Well, <laughs> well, people like yourself on the show. Where's the, uh, where's the cake? It, I left it out in the rain over the okay. weekend. No cake, that's it, I'm going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm going. No cake. <laughs> You've had enough cake, by the yeah. way. <laughs> does, does it show? Yeah. <laughs> ref.com is three years old. Thanks ever so much for your support. It's flown, actually, isn't it? It really has flown. Unlike this programme, is that what you're going to say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, three years old, youaretheref.com, going strong, going from strength to strength. And uh, a reminder, any young referees who haven't subscribed yet to the academy site, what on earth are they hanging around for? Because there's so much expertise on there from, well, apart from yourself, there's Keith Hackett, uh, there's Mark Clattenburg, occasionally he pops up. We've got, Laura, say we've got, you know, uh, and, and it, sometimes it's, it, it's in, Invaluable the, the, the learning experience you can gain from from the likes of Mark and Danny Murphy because knowing players what, what players get up to and, and what, what they're they thinking, and what they're thinking, yeah, yeah. you know, do, do the, what they do on the training ground, do they transfer that into the into match yeah. day? So you know the the, the the experience they can gain from these guys is, is invaluable. Yeah. So it's all there and uh, it's uh, only a few quid a month, isn't it, to uh, to subscribe? So there you go, do subscribe to. You and if more right subscribe, there. we might get cake. Might we? Yeah, we might do, yeah. You might get a cake, might be able to afford a cake. Yeah. 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 Uh, where were we? Uh, we talked about video refereeing in the first part and a perfect illustration of how it can work uh, in the uh, under-20s uh, World Cup final with England beating Venezuela. But I referred to sort of a disagreement among refereeing figures as to what system to adopt. Now, FIFA there at the under-20s World Cup went with one that put the power in the hands of the guy watching the monitors, if the referee wanted to bring him in. You think that's the correct way? I, I do, and obviously the referee's got to have full trust, as I said earlier on, that you know, I, I believe when it comes in, in here, they've got to work together as a, as a team. Yeah. I and just, and I, I cannot see, I, I know they want in this country to go to the side in the, you know, by the tech crowd and look at a TV and say, I'm sorry. Rubbish. I'm sorry, I don't know why no. Mark feels. No, it won't work, will it? Well, but can, but can, the, can the VAR guy call it to the referee before the referee? Or is it all in the all referee's the control? No, for, for me, I think the referee has to initiate right. that contact with the VAR. But what if he'd made an absolute and hadn't, howler yeah. and hadn't said anything? Sure. Surely there must be a system where the guy goes, but, hey, you might want to see this. I, I think he's going to go like the cricket. As soon as something happens, he's going to, they're going to go upstairs anyway, straight okay. away. Okay. I mean, yeah. uh, well, why not? If there's an element of doubt, that's, all, that's why the whole thing's just, in it. Just it? like Beyond Coifers did. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he done that. But what's wrong? The referee hasn't noticed that he's made a howler, and the guy upstairs is obvious to everybody else. What's wrong with it? telling him, just saying, hey, by the way, I think, I think you, you might want to look at it. I think it's this. common sense, yeah. is it not? Yeah, absolutely. And, and we've no need to know, in a way, you no. know, what the, what the process no. is. No, no. No, we just, want, we, we just want the whole thing is to get the right decision, no is way. it not? Yeah. So yeah. Wh whatever way it takes. There's a couple of people who wouldn't agree with you guys. I mean, well, David, don't tell me they're in charge of the referees. <laughs> yeah, well, David Ellery, uh, the technical director of the uh, International Football Association Board and the chief of, of Professional Game Match Officials Limited, Mike Riley, both appear to or have said that they favour leaving the ultimate control in the match official's hands, i.e. that he has to review, if necessary, an incident. He but, has to physically see the incident. Yeah, mm. but the logistics of that... Uh, so he's got to go off the pitch. Apparently, but well, how else? Yeah, that's got handheld. Yeah, but is that big enough? So he's going, but that's going to be a very public spectacle, isn't it? Well, it's not only that. You, you're managers. then going to get yeah, players congregating round, the managers, the coaching yeah. staff. It's going to be chaos. Yeah. And they It'll be chaos. Can't see what's going on behind their back while they're while they're doing uh, this. Yeah. You know. So what are you going to do then? Otherwise, put it down the tunnel. So you got to dis it. No, I don't, don't, I don't get it. It's well. a non-starter for both of you guys. That. Yeah. Well, I think, I think yeah, so. I, mean, I think Mike Ryan and Daly have got to take a good look at themselves, haven't they? What they're what they're trying to bring in. It's not, it, it clearly shows it works in the World Cup in under twenties. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and and actually, it was good that there was such a high profile demonstration of how it can work because mm. that gives people confidence in it, doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And as I say, you now we 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 spoke about it, and we at length now, and just. Take what they've done out well, out out there. Just mm. just take the rugby union. Yeah. Mm. It's 
So he, he calls for, you know, is it a try, was it not a try, etc. Right. He doesn't go off the pitch, does no, he? No, he no, just no, waits no. for the information. Right. Yeah. And do, it's not a problem. They do it in rugby league, rugby union. Cricket. Cricket, yeah. no problem. You don't see the on-field umpires walking off and looking at, looking at the screen, do you? No. no. You've, got, you've, got, you've got to have the trust in the VAR, yeah. but you've got to select the right calibre of VAR to make this work. Okay, well, there should be quite a number of candidates because of the age of, of Premier League referees. Dean Maharib has done a study on behalf of you, other effort, sort of an age breakdown of the current squad. Is it eight, eight, 18 or 18, thereabouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Select yeah. Group 1, we're select talking about. Select Group 1, yes. Yeah. And of those, he's discovered that uh, over 60% of them are over the age of 45. So it's becoming an ageing group. So there are going to be plenty of VAR contenders. But there was an opportunity to promote, and only one referee's been promoted from Select Group 2. Chris yeah, Cav there's, a, there's, Chris only, there's only one come through. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. Chris Kavanagh. Who's and none out. have gone out. No. 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 It's not good. No. There's one or two not up to it. They're, they're, they're already in the Select Group. So, And also, it doesn't it, it's almost like ring-fencing them, which is wrong, isn't it? Mm, yeah. Where, where's, the, where's the progression planning? Because... You absolutely well, right. Six, the incentive six, as well. well. Sixty-one percent of those guys are about over forty-five. Now, when I was, I mean, I was 50, almost fifty-three when I was. It's a long time ago, that though, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm just talking about age. When you get yeah, to that age, yeah. you do feel it. You, you know, your recovery takes longer, and you come off that pitch. And and some, and the pace of the game today, it's no place for a fifty-three-year-old. I, I, I can assure you. But you look at, we're looking at that, and the progression planning we've got. So we did have seven FIFA officials. We, we have seven places for referees on, on the FIFA panel. Right. We've lost one, Mark Clattenburg, so that takes us down to six. So we've only mm. got six, not, out, not, our, not, not the seven that were allocated, the spaces. Mm. So then you look at Martin Atkinson, you look at Andre Mariner, two that are on an extension. So they should have retired last, last um, January. Mm. So they've given, been given one year extension. I cannot see FIFA giving them a two year extension because normally 45 and that's it. In sexual circumstances, mm. they give you a... Uh, why, is, why is it at 45 anyway? Well, that, but that's, Who's, who that, makes that decision? That's, the, that's, that's FIFA, FIFA and UEFA. But, 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 but you can have like an unbelievably fit 50 year old. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. contravenes yeah. ageist Co yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So what, Treaty of Rome, I think you'll yeah, find yeah, as yeah, well. So, <laughs> so say, what they're doing now, they give you, they give you an extension if the FA recommend you, but yeah. they're not going to do it for a second year. So if they don't and them two come off, that leaves us with, um, so that's, f what, five, 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 ref five? Five left. Five left, yeah. four, four. If, if, well, if you take, if you take no, four left, because Mark's come off. And then, and it, yeah, so that takes us down mm. to six. You take Andre right. and Martin out, mm. um, who refereed France, Sweden excellently, I have to say. Um, so that's four out of our seven. Where is that? Where is our next? Right. Where is our next FIFA referee coming well, from? You and, and others and had identified three, hadn't you, that yeah. you thought should be promoted. Yeah. Uh, Chris Kavanagh, who has been promoted, yeah. Andy Good Madley and David Coote were the other two that were expected to step up, and those two haven't. Well, I know, I know um, Chris Kavanagh was given a Premier League game towards the end of the season at West Brom. He'd done, yeah. he done well. But... For me, a a Andy Madley, I think he's a great, great talent, and I, I, I just don't understand. I know because he's brother of Bobby, who's in the, who's yeah, in, yeah. In the yeah, Premier League, yeah. and I just don't understand why we've not put him up. And it's all about identifying talent, and from an early, from an early age to get these young referees through. And it's a, it's about identifying them, mm. and then nurturing them, and then bringing through with quality coaching. Now that is something that is lacking at the, high, at the top, top game. And I've often said that good, good coaches turn average players into good players, good players into it, excellent players. And it's no different for referee it, coaches. It, but and also, we've got a severe it, lack of quality coaches at the top level. But also those guys who, who haven't been put up to the elite mm -hmm. group, they must be thinking, well, oh, sorry, I thought you had a good season. What, well, what do yeah. I need to do? Well, it, it mirrors a, a, a football squad in a way that if it's ageing and if, if you've got too many guys sort of around 30 yeah, plus, yeah. do you have to start bringing Absolutely, younger, younger ones. Similar thing, Young it? legs. Mark's spot on because I, I speak to many current match officials mm. at PGR level and the morale is rock bottom. Mm. All over, rock bottom. Right, well, 
we were going to finish on a, a high note because England have won the World Cup. We don't want to. Yeah. You're depressing us Champions now. You're, de Champions you're, absolutely, you're depressing us. <laughs> but what I want, just finally, in a, in the thirty seconds that remain, is somebody to defend Joe Hart. Now, as an ex-goalkeeper, he's, he's taken a. Well, you're getting this ex-goalkeeper thing. Yeah, back. I know. Uh, he, he likes what? to say that. <laughs> What's what? You well, seen Joe play? Hart. Come on. <laughs> 15 I've seconds heard. to defend Joe Hart. Listen, I thought they were two excellent free kicks, and if it had been Messi, they'd all been talking about Messi and not, not Joe Hart. And also, I didn't see any goalkeeping pundits talking about Joe Hart over the weekend on, on the television. Vasquez no is now ref pundits, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> They're but taking got, all the money. You've got both here, a referee and a goalkeeper. No, you've got <laughs> one. You've just got one. <laughs> Thanks, Laura. I yeah. love you too. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That's brilliant. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, do rejoin us for another ref show next week. See you then. Bye.